and toffee. So cute and adorable. Oh, so cool. So little cute. Toffee's eating really good this morning. Oh, hello, Nor. So with me, I have little Toffee. I don't know if all of you guys know him. He's from, he was from the litter with Caramel and Butterscotch, um, which both have been adopted. Um, but Toffee's having some health um, complications. So he's been coming home with me. Uh oh. Hey, Alicia. Uh oh. And he's eating his breakfast this morning after he's been running around my house like a little scampy kitten all morning. Oh, yes. Oh, where are you going? And this is his favorite spot. Right, Toffee? So we're not sure what Toffee's outcome will be because currently his kidneys don't appear to be functioning properly. But in the meantime, he will be staying with me until we figure everything out. Um, good boy, Toff. Good boy. He generally, he's been quite sick on and off. So um, I'm giving him sub-Q fluids daily um, because he gets, even though he's drinking a ton of water and he is eating, he's still getting super dehydrated, um, which isn't a good sign. It means that something is not functioning right on his, in his little kidneys. And I don't know, like, health-wise, if he, how long his life will even be, but I figured in the meantime, um, he will have a home at my house. So even if he never gets adopted, his home will be with me. Oh. Good boy. Oh. Oh, so cute, little top. Oh, good boy. He's such a lovely. He was actually fostered by foster mom Shauna with his siblings, and then they got really sick on Christmas Eve, and then they all came to my house. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're waiting for some results. Um, we had a urine test done and then we sent a culture off to kind of see, but his blood work didn't look very good. So it will just be about his quality of life and um, how well he's thriving, right? So and until we get the culture back, we don't really know what's going on. So. He's probably, he's, I'm not sure how many weeks, I'm probably approximately around two months or older, so. And I'm really happy because this morning he hasn't been eating that well, and this morning he was like, I'm hungry because I was running around so much. I can only get him to eat canned food. I haven't gotten him to eat any kibble since I've had him. He hasn't been gaining weight really well, so. <laughs> he is. Oh, good boy. He's such a sweetheart. Aren't you? I feel lucky to have him. He's such a little joy. I feel like for a cat that's probably is suffering, um, <laughs> in some way he is just so full of joy and so happy all the time and he's always purring. So he just has, he's just joyful in life. Oh, look at him. He's too 
too adorable for words. And look at his little black mark around his face. Joyful. I have a little heating pad in his little, because this is where he's been wanting to sleep at night, so I put a little heating pad with his blanket in there. He always likes to rub his little face down, too. Uh, he came in on December 21st, and then he went into foster with our wonderful foster home, Shauna, and she noticed that they weren't doing, him and his siblings, they weren't doing so great on Christmas Eve, well, especially him. So we rushed him to um, actually Brookswood Animal Hospital um, where they took really great care of him. And then he came back and he stayed at the shelter in isolation for a bit because they all had upper respiratory. And we noticed that his siblings were getting better, but little Toffee wasn't. So we were a little concerned. So on Wednesday of this week, we had blood work done on him, which showed that his kidneys aren't properly functioning. Um, so then we um, took a urine test um, and it, his urine results did come back that he, like, that he probably does have some, something wrong with his little kidneys. Um, so we sent it off for a culture. Um, so we're waiting for the results of that. Um, so he's been staying with me for the last couple days because his siblings have already been adopted and I didn't want to leave him at the shelter all by himself. So, and I didn't know what the outcome of his life will be, so, and if he'll be able to be adopted. So I didn't want him, I want him to have a home in his life. And we're not 100% sure exactly what's going on, we just know that He does have some medical issues and they're not looking, oh my goodness, did you tumble? It's not looking 100% perfect or great for him, so, but what I love about him, which I think we can all learn from, is that even though he obviously, um, like he's in some way not doing very well and it must be affecting him, like, he is just the happiest kitten you'll ever meet and he does have so much joy left in his life and he's so, he's so happy, which makes it so hard to know that he's probably in some, some way not feeling the best, but he doesn't show it. And he, no matter how much like he eats or drinks or anything like that, he's still super dehydrated. So I'm having to supplement it with fluids too. But we will do everything we can for little tops. Yeah, we will. He's been running around like crazy this morning. Him and my cat Blitzen, they've hit it off quite well. They've been chasing each other. But I do have to give him his morning fluids. He just wanted to eat and get some love first, so. We should get it back this week, the results. Yeah, and he's very vocal. Are you, are you so cute? Yeah. Oh, hi. 
pink. I think he's definitely having a better day than he was yesterday, but it's so hard to tell, right? Because even though he's acting like such a wonderful, happy kitten, he, um, like, this morning when I felt him, his gums were completely, like, pale and super tacky. And, um, what are you doing, little man? His siblings were butterscotch and caramel, um, but they have both been adopted. They got adopted yesterday um, from the PetSmart in Abbotsford. Oh. Yeah, right? So cute. He has like little cheetah markings. Can we show them your cheetah markings? Look how beautiful his cheetah markings are. It will. <laughs> Good boy. I put a bunch of water in there too so he would get lots of fluids into him. Good boy. Don't you think he looks better than yesterday already, Alicia? Like he looks more alert, but I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't 100% know. I just know generally when they have their kidneys are failing, their life isn't expected to be very, very long. I'm gonna go because I have to give him his morning fluids, but I decided to share share Toffee's story with you and that he's in good hands. Oh wait, did we go get fluids? Yes. Oh. What? Say bye, Toss. Say bye, everyone. Oh, yes. Oh, he said bye, too.